Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series premium roleplay Tesseract um, with Loki. So it actually says here Tesseract electronic roleplay accessory and Loki figure. This is the Loki that we should have gotten in the first place. Not the full jacketed one that kind of sucks. It's actually a decent head sculpt, painted a little bit weird. The flowy wavy hair is kind of odd. Uh, but it's cool. I, I don't mind the variant TVA jacket. Um, but this is definitely the one that we should have gotten in the first place. And now we have it. So that is pretty cool. I think a lot of people probably don't know this, but the test rack has already been released one other time in a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, as you can see here, um, with a red skull figure from Captain America, the first Avenger. So... Um, they are basically re-releasing this cat, this Red Skull figure in the what, uh, Disney Plus Wave 4, the What If Red Skull. So it has animated series um, or animated style head sculpt as opposed to the live action head sculpt. So this figure is basically coming out again. And the Tesseract is now re-released. So um, there goes the exclusivity of this figure, essentially, right? So, um, and now I'm just kidding. We still have the live action, although... That live action head sculpt, same head sculpt, was actually on a different Red Skull release. So, um, yeah, in a way, kind of the exclusivity is gone. So, Tesseract, we've already seen before. Should be the exact same, but I think the blue of the plastic might be a little bit different. We'll have to check that out. But I am excited for uh, the Loki figure. The Tesseract says light effects, effects loot. Uh, well, it just says light effects. That's it. And there's no batteries. i got to see if I have batteries or if I'm going to have to sacrifice them out of there. Uh, 3D render of the figure there. Back of the package we see Loki comes with a little flame effect and his dagger sword. Um, so that is pretty cool. And then the Tesseract, how it comes apart, is basically the same. It looks like it does come with the plastic outer shell as this one does. And then of course it separates out and you have like the orb portion inside for the light effect. And it has like the dimming one so you can actually have the light dim. Oh, actually it turned off. So you have the light there. If you press it again, oh, I guess it just turns off, but it kind of dims out. Oh, there it goes. Now it has the dimming effect. So, pretty cool. Tesseract should be the exact same, but let's open it up and take a look. Okay, so I know everyone wants to see the Loki figure, so we're going to get the Tesseract out of the way. So here, the new one, we get white LEDs as opposed to the old one, which had blue LEDs, and I can't find the button. Where is it? Where is it? Right there, my goodness. So the, the original first release had blue LEDs, the new one has white LEDs. Not sure that it's really gonna make that big of a difference. Oh, you know what I did? I covered up. Oh, I did it on both, where it has the little fabric piece so you can pull the batteries out easily. Um, but th So that is the difference. I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference when it comes to the actual Tesseract. So this Tesseract is a slightly lighter blue color than the original release. So as you can see, the two glow, um, the blue one I think looks better. Now this one with the white lights, it being a little bit lighter, might be a little bit more screen accurate as it was, in, it was a glowing blue, sure, but it was a bright blue to where, you know, it kind of has the white look. So that's why, you know, the outside shell being blue, um, it kind of gives that look. But you guys let me know which one you think looks a little bit better. I think kind of the breakage inside of it is a little bit much. You know, the way they made the Tesseract look in the movies and the show, and I think it was different kind of every time, but it was more of like a, a, a foggy, frosty look to it as opposed to like this ice block frozen look. Um, so when it comes to that, I think this one, it hides it a little bit better. So from that aspect, it kind of looks better. You know, if we pop it in, um, if we drop it into the case, you know, which one ends up looking a little bit better? Does it really make a difference? No, probably not. Yeah, um, I don't know. I guess preference on, you know, which Tesseract you think looks looks better. I'm, I mean, uh, I'm going to go with the original, not, not this new one. Um, just not quite working for me as much. Um, but you know, this one, the acrylic case is a little bit more clear and that this could be cause I've had it, you know, sitting on a shelf for a few different years. Um, and this new one is just a brand new one. Uh, but I kind of like the blue, the blue to it. I wish it was a little bit brighter. This one's definitely brighter, but it actually doesn't look as good in my opinion. But you guys let me know, uh, down in the comments below original or re-release. 
Oh, so here is the entire offering out of the package. Um, it was glowing, so I guess it is on a timer. It will turn off on its own. I forgot. Um, I had completely forgotten that since, again, I've had it, you know, for a few years. This is the new one, by the way. Um, so, yeah, that was kind of cool. Uh, but here we have the Loki figure, and this one is pretty good. It's not the greatest. Um, a couple of things when it comes to this Loki figure. We still don't get the the greatest facial expression or anything for loki um and i think it actually just looks okay it almost looks like it would be good for a what if animated figure than a realistic live action looking loki which sucks because we've had a pretty de pretty decent one the one that came with thor ragnarok that was a pretty good one this one wasn't bad too the coloring was weird and i hate the suited body legs look at that thing it just st stuck together and it just doesn't want to stand um, so this new Loki figure, ah, uh, just, you know, it's okay. I see Tom Hiddleston, but it's just, it's really not the greatest. And damn this, look at, the, look at that. The legs just coming together back on that one. What a crap figure. Um, but yeah, it's, uh... It's interesting. We get a new torso on this Loki figure, which is really nice. I wish we would have gotten different legs completely because the suited body legs are just trash. They're so bad. I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. <laughs> I really hate it. Uh, but the figure actually looks decent enough. It's pretty good. It works. It's passable. Still not the, the greatest thing. But the, the sword that he comes with and the flame accessory, these are really cool. So let's get in for a closer look at those, and then we'll take a closer look at Loki. Okay, so here we have the dagger, and it's done in a yellow goldish plastic uh, color, and it's got a nice um, wash to it. At first, it, and I don't really actually think it's a wash. I think it's actually like a digital print that they went for a rustic look to it, because if you look, it actually looks digitized like a dot matrix style, like it was printed on there, and it came out looking pretty good. Brown for the hilt, little gold at the end. Um, I really like it. And then here we have the flame effect. The flame effect is really cool as well, so you can actually just, just kind of slide the sword right on through it. Um, then you can kind of stop it there or you can even wrap that flame around the hilt a little bit as well and that works out but I think I think this came out looking really really nice really cool now the other cool thing is check that out that bandolier strap sheath thing that goes around Loki's shoulders you can actually sheath the sword on his back like he did in the show that is really cool the nice thing about this is they have a nice leathery texture to it check that out you get some gold rivets some uh, gold buckles in there too looks really good but man nice touch to have that I mean I guess it was necessary for to be screen accurate but I really like the way it came out and you can have his sword like there um, so now that we have this close look at Loki, now we can see him. So um, I see Tom Middleston, I really do. Um, there, not as much angle, not really. And usually the angle is where I really see it. Um, I do think it is better than this one, and I think the biggest difference is in the quality of the digital print. Um, plus, he's not as pale. I know he looks pale, but there's a little bit more of, uh, of a less pale skin tone. Um, to it, and I think it does come off actually fairly well on camera there. So just this Loki, it just oh, it was just really lacking. It was a very boring face for flowy hair. Um, so I, I think it's a huge improvement. The figures um, actually have a little bit of a differences between the two, from the hips down to the legs and the feet are the exact same except different colors. You can see a lighter brown on the new one, brown for the shoes instead of black shoes. The buckle is a little bit of a brighter gold. The tie is the same, but the torsos are different. So this one you can actually see he has got the bandolier in there with the magazine clip, the magazines, ammo magazines. I was going to say magazine clips, they're not clips. Um, and then you have a holster for a gun there that was not accurate, but that was just the standard kind of suited body I think that came with the young Nick Fury um, but this one we actually get a brand new torso altogether and I noticed this in the show and I always thought it was weird because the collar isn't a real collar like you see these lines here it, it kind of comes up to where the end of the collar would be but it's not like a separate piece it's like folded into the fabric like there's no seam even like it was really weird but I I, <laughs> I definitely noticed it in the show um, so it's kind of nice to see that we actually got that. They unfortunately didn't do that with the Mobius figure. Um, so it's nice that we get it here, um, because it was just, it was really interesting to see. And I'm glad they actually put some effort into this figure and gave it a new torso altogether. And then I really like the way the wrinkled shirt, like it's kind it's coming untucked a little bit. Um, that's kind of a nice touch as well as here, you know, it was a very clean, 
um, tucked in shirt like he's ready to start the adventures with the TVA and here's what it's come to him. He's like oh god He loses the jacket rolls up the sleeves and everything now These are the same sleeves that come with like the comic J. Jonah Jameson or the first we saw it on the MCU Ulysses claw figure those are the same there um, But yeah look looks really good I, I really like that torso because again, it was a very interesting collar design head sculpt looks pretty good The neck looks to be maybe a separate piece that's glued in there um, Hard to tell for sure one thing that I would like to see somebody do and I'm sure somebody's gonna do it This is not something that I am capable of doing. Can we switch the arms? Onto this mr. Knight figure maybe lose this jacket um, unfortunately, he won't have the vest. Maybe somebody can make a vest or somebody can customize or do something. Uh, but I would like to see the sleeveless arms on a Mr. Knight figure. I think that could come out looking really good. And I wonder if there's a way to do it. Because these shoulders are different. Um, and I think they would work out quite well. Even for the jacketed look, it could probably work. Um, but I'm sure somebody would be capable of doing something like that. Uh, but yeah, here is Loki. Um, let's check out his articulation. Urgh, I don't like that one. Let's check him out. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at Loki's articulation. If it looks like he's standing with a stick up his ass, it's because these suited legs really suck and it's just kind of, like for a natural standing pose, it's just really weird. And the way the feet work on this one, they're just, it's bad. That's why I hate it. I hope they retire it, never bring it back because it's just it's such a pain in the ass to work with because these ankles um, just aren't very good. And actually these are the new, the new suited body and it still sucks. This is the young Nick Fury legs, and they still suck. Anyway, uh, so articulation, I forgot. That's what we're doing. So he, the head is on, the neck is on a de uh, ball hinge, so he can look down that much. He can look up somewhat. Let me get the sword out of the way. Sword, uh, the sword wasn't really in the way. It's his hair. He can look up that much. Uh, full rotation in there. You get some pivot going on. Shoulder, you can get to go all the way out and up. You get full rotation in there, of course. There is a bicep swivel. There. Unfortunately, we don't get a double jointed elbow. We get a single jointed elbow with a swivel at the elbow, which only gives us that much bend. That's hardly anything. Not even close to 90 degrees. So that kind of sucks. Um, ab crunch, he can crunch forward that much. He can crunch back. Um, surprisingly, very little. We get a waist swivel in there. Legs go out that far apart. He can kick forward that far leg doesn't really go back you have an upper thigh cut in there a double jointed knee like so there is an ankle swivel so they've got this ball joint right at the end of the pant leg so there's a swivel at the ankle foot hinges down um, a little bit you get a little Maybe a tiny bit of hinge up ankle pivot peggles at the bottom of the feet closer to the toes So thin even thin feet um, Makes it a real pain in the ass to get him to stand. I Just do, I really don't don't like these suited bodies anymore like it was cool when Nick Fury came out because it was a little bit better um, But it still sucks <laughs> Still sucks. Okay, so here we have the figures from the Loki series. I'm Loki w The Loki show was my favorite of the Marvel shows. Um, it was so good. We have um, He who remains it's gonna be coming out in the Khonshu build a figure wave. So I'm super excited about that um, but it's nice that Sylvie at least got some love and got um, basically knew everything to build the figure um, for the figure, excuse me, um, whereas Loki, Loki, and Mobius are all kind of crap. Mobius uses the suited body, the original suited body, so it just kind of sucks. Um, and then those two Lokis, notice how they're leaning to the side? Yeah, they don't stand straight. Like, I hate, I hate, hate, hate these legs. They're just such a problem. Um, it's so bad. Man, um, this new Loki figure, while it is a great update, um, and I think a better looking figure, better suited for the show, um, because, you know, I think he lost the jacket fairly early on, so he went, you know, kind of rolled up sleeve look for a majority of the show. Um, and, and, you know, it's cool from that aspect, but, you know, I would still like a better Loki figure. Um, you, you know, time will tell if we ever get one, you know, one from the first Avengers movie. A, an updated one would be great. Yes, we kind of technically have one, but it's super undersized. Um, so I just wish, you know, Loki would get a little bit more love. Uh, season 2 is filming, so hopefully there will be a Season 2 figure. Something that will be really good, but I'm sure it's going to be some kind of gimmicky looking figure that's going to relate to the season. Uh, you know, with Loki in a freaking suit as opposed to his Ar Asgardian armor and things like that. 
Um, but we'll see what the future holds. Um, I can't wait to get He Who Remains. He's going to look awesome. You know, he, him and Sylvie will get a lot of love in figure form, whereas Loki gets a little bit, but, you know, not quite enough. Uh, but you guys let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of all the Loki figures? What did you think of the show? Let me know in the comments uh, below if you guys are interested in joining the MCU Collective in becoming a channel member. Hit that join button. Uh, if you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Arr, subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching as I try and straighten Loki out so he doesn't fall. And I just can't, man, it's so, I, far. look, I have to have him, like, stand to the side, and he's kind of being braced at the, at the hand with Sylvie's cloak. It's just, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.